Hello, folks, and welcome to Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. <laughs> Or 999. Yeah, which we're going to refer to from this point on as 999. Uh, this is the very first game in the Zero Escape series. Mm -hmm. And this game is really, really good. Gina, um, I'm so excited to play this game. I am game. so excited to oh play this game. Oh my god. So, I have played this game. I've actually played all the games in the Zero Escape series mm -hmm. several times. Um, and I have not. Um, but Gina has been telling me to play them for a really long time. So, we are finally here. Mm -hmm. And I finally get to play this. Um, we have played... I've actually played, I guess... Essentially, I guess, pieces of this game in one of our D&D games. That's true. I, I once <laughs> ran a, a Zero Escape D&D campaign uh, in which I borrowed a few of the puzzles from the games. <laughs> Uh, and Allison was a character in that. So you've peripherally gotten maybe the tone. Perfect. If not the actual uh, magnificent story that these games contain. I'm I'm super excited. And this, feel, this kind of feels like... So this is kind of classic for us. It's a game that you have played, but I have not. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of feels like we're going back to Eve, which I think was our first playthrough that you and I did on the it channel. Was. Um, and, and I'm just... I'm so excited to share this one with mm -hmm. you. This one means a lot to me. This know, game means a whole, whole lot. So. Yeah, I know it's a, real, a really big one for you, so I, I'm really mm -hmm. excited to get into it. Um, let's go jump in. Yeah, let's do it. This game is fiction. All names, characters, and incidents portrayed in this production are fictitious. Okay. There are two modes of play, novel and adventure. You can switch in and out of each interchangeably. Yeah, you had mentioned that to me. Yeah, and I'm yeah. actually going to touch upon that in a second. Okay. But... Yeah, yeah, like Titanic looking ship. Huh, okay. A loud noise startled Junpei awake and his eyes snapped open. <laughs> What the? Oh, is he the Jew? <laughs> As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize his surroundings. Ow! With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. I, I increased the tech speed up very fast, but <laughs> apparently not fast enough. <laughs> he rolled over and threw his hand to, the, uh, to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. Oh, what? Whoa! balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah, what the hell? This is a really interesting way to start the game. Wow. A bed? That felt pretty far. That really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. An earthquake! I, but it, it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. I like these camera shots. Like, that, that's a great way to, like, frame Where? it. And it's a good way of establishing the space you're in. Yeah. Um, because this is sort of mist-like. You don't get full 360 turns of the room. You get certain angles. You get angles so of it, So it lets yeah. you know what you're working with ahead of time. Interesting. Cool. Am I? It does kind of look like we are on the Titanic, though. It sure does. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, it, it does um, it does Wait, remind it, me... It stopped? ...of of the beginning of our... Of our you know, I, a little I, bit. I, I, I stole it. ruthlessly. It's okay. <laughs> but in the um, best way. So um, I did want to quickly address um, some... Uh, the the version of the game that we're playing. So when I say I've played this game before, I have, but I've exclusively played the version that came out in 2009 on the DS. Mm -hmm. um, and I love that game. I've played that game multiple times, but it was later re-released. 
re-released as the Nonary game, which was a bundle of this and its sequel, Virtue's Last Reward, that came out on Vita, PC, and I think also console. I'm not entirely sure about that. I probably should have checked ahead of time. Um, <laughs> what they added is voice acting. And also, you may have noticed there was some narration at the beginning that uh-huh. I was reading through. That was from the original game, but up in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see this like little RB scree- uh, switch thing. It allows you to turn the narration on or off at will depending on how you want to play the game. So we'll look at that as we go further through. Yeah, it's fascinating how, like, the lines from the characters are voice acted, but Mm -hmm. then the narration is not. Like, you kind of get it interspersed like that. I'll be interested to see how it, like, plays out. And if that gets, like, if that gets annoying or if we're, like... Or if that's really cool, like, if that's a neat way of storytelling. um, It's weird because it's... It almost... The original 999 felt more like a novel than it did a game. Mm-hmm. It had gameplay in it, but it was it was very much written like a novel. Yeah. And it's funny to see them sort of adapt it over time. Yeah. But anyway, we should we should keep going. Yeah. Also, is this Talison Jaffe voicing no. Junpei here? No. No. It's someone familiar, though. Um, I looked it up, but then forgot. It's not Talison. Oh, okay. He plays a different character. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I only I only knew that he was in this yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not him. Um, okay. <laughs> like, it kind of could be him. Anyway. No, it's not. <laughs> Um, anyway. All right, let's continue. What's that sound? (laughs) Your heater, maybe? I don't know. Or just ship noises? Ships do make a lot of noise. Yeah. (laughs) That's... Five... What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Uh, Is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! What the hell is this? Hmm. <laughs> a watch? It doesn't look like one. Five. That's... that's the same as the door. You're number five, my dude. Mm-hmm. Yep. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? I like these shots. What the hell happened <laughs> you know, first to me? With him, like, what the hell? It's such a small space that yeah. I imagine him physically turning. Yeah. Ooh. Ah, ah, my head. Huh. This is. Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Certainly looks like it. I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Mm-mm. Huh? Not good. Not good. What Not the? Not good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Not good. What? What the hell is going on here? Bad news. Bad. No bad. No bad. bad news. Oh come on. Oh, is this the first puzzle? Get out. Yep. Oh, While it fills God. up with water. Yep. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Just hopping right to it. They gotta set stakes early. You know how this goes. Oh, interesting. I guess does that mean the ship, the whole ship is Is sinking? We'll see. Mm, Okay. Come on, if you're there, say something. It's it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out. (laughs) Fast. I really like Junpei's yeah. voice actor. He's so good. <laughs> he, he works it. I know, it's weird, because, like, I'm so used to the, the voice blips for this, but... <gasps> oh, whoa! What will do? Seek a way Seek out! A way let's out. do all it! Right, let's do it! All right, all right, all right! <laughs> Jumping oh, right shit. in! Okay, here okay. we go. Oh, all right. So, Oh, this is how they set it up. Okay. Uh, is there a timer? Um, okay. Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. I wish the text went a little faster. There are items and, oh, I can click to advance it. Okay, there are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. 
Use the cursor to select a location you find suspicious and search the room. Use the LB or RB button to, to walk around the room. Uh, left stick controls. Move the left stick during an escape to use the cursor. <laughs> Press X to speed the movement. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, that uh, looks that important. Thing. Yeah, let's look at that let's thing. Let's get uh, this. What's underneath it? Um, anything. Uh, about, about items. items. Once you've obtained an item, you are able to go into the item screen. Pressing Y will take you to the item screen. Okay. There it cool. is. We got this note from the bulletin board. Yes. Okay, awesome. And Great. it's good to remember that you have like full turnarounds of all items. That's so. perfect. Okay, let cool. me let's see what's on. Oh, okay, oh sorry. That's fine. Um, that's that's fine. Investigate uh, with, with an the item. Uh, the item visible in the lower corner uh, is the item currently held in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Yes. Okay. Try switching cool. out items. Uh, press up to quickly change between items. Cool. Oh, okay. But we All only right. have one item right now. Oh, uh, look at the picture. Yeah. Uh, turn it around. Um, okay. Uh, cool, cool, cool. It's an, an old, old picture frame. frame. There's uh, a picture of a ship in it. Cool. There's uh, screws keeping the back on. All right. So if we, we want to get it. that off, we need to look around more. Yes. Uh, ch can you check the sink? Anything in the sink or sure. no? I'll try. It was. Um, I was trying to do that, but it was... <laughs> There Gina? it is. Yes. G is this is this timed right now? Oh. Okay. I was gonna break for something, but we gotta keep going. Okay. It doesn't uh, seem like there's anything hidden on the sink. Okay. What? 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 Uh, yes? No. This is just reminding me of when we were stuck in this room in in our D and D version. Our one our ranger was trying to like like clog up the sink and like to stop and flooded like, and the bathroom flooded and it made bathroom. me smile. Yes, because oh history repeated itself. <laughs> He's uh, trying to flood the room. Yep. Um, that's hilarious. Okay. Uh, this is the only drain in the room. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Uh, uh, the, Let's see. What about... Okay. I'm going to turn over here and look at the yeah, thing. Yeah. Check in that thing. Uh, check inside the thing. Uh, this is the door to the stove. Uh, well, open seasonal enough. Uh, sure wish the door would get out. Uh, get out of here. Sure wish the door to get out of here. Is this easy to open? I can't read. Um, <laughs> that was your second line. <laughs> Blah. All hey, right. Hey, screwdriver. Yes. Uh, well, that solves the mystery of whether or not the stove has been used before. What's this? It looks red. It's a screwdriver. Perfect. Combine yeah. with that. Yes, definitely. Action. Well, the screwdriver got those screws out easy, uh, easily enough, and here's the picture. Cool. Cool and perfect. Yeah, that's what that's we what want. we wanted. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, um, uh, that means our code would be what? Uh, seven, seven, four, six... Three. Yes, seven four seven, six four, three. Six, three. Can you remember that? Yep. Seven four six three. I can actually write it down. Um, okay. Just to make sure we I already keep did going it. It's here. Teaching me how to combine items. So yeah. We already did that. Yep. That's okay. Uh, seven four six three. Yeah. I am like already feeling the urgency here. I'm like <laughs> already kind of freaked out. Uh, oh, all right. Let's see what's in there. Huh? Looks like there is a key. A key? Yep. That's a key. All right. A little blue one. Perfect. Cool. Small blue key. All right. Um, I don't think we can use the key yet, but maybe on that thing. Unless we have to put the code in. Let's um, see. Uh, no dice. It's locked up tight. We also should probably... So while the characters are voiced, they do have scenes like this where they're not. So okay. we may want to come up with character voices once there's more characters. Right okay. now it's just narration. It's just Junpei. Yeah. yeah. No okay. dice. It's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Okay. Okay. So it's uh, 7463. Looks like I've got to put uh, the key in the keyhole in order to enter, uh, to enter the number. So okay. let's try that Sounds first. Good. Cool. All right. And nothing. Yes. I guess I'm going to need some sort of code for the dial. Good thing we have that. Mini games. <laughs> <laughs> During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the mini games are done by using uh, the left stick and A. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to apply the right object or to press the right thing. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Operation, Operation instructions. instructions. Pressing the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Okay. Under four numbers this way. Yes. I, yes. I'm yep. just good. Okay. We, we got it. All right. All, All right. right. All right. Uh, seven, four, six, three. Done. Yeah. Did we do the thing? Seems like that that was wrong. Oh, that's wrong. Okay. Um, okay, so let's try again. Let's it. figure okay, out. Uh, uh, I don't think it's gonna open if I whack it on it a couple times. Might make me feel better. Yeah. Not gonna help though. All right, Junpei, don't freak out. 
keep it cool and look around for some more clues. Okay. Okay, so let's go back so to our items. Didn't quite get everything, I guess, or maybe we need to check the code. Um, uh, okay. So. Okay, so, okay, yeah, solid. So what we don't have here are colors. Mm, see, I see. That was a blue key, but these are red and blue. Oh, I see. I so, see. Well, so seven four six three is something. I think we're probably missing. We're missing a color. Yeah. Uh, color to aid with the code. Uh, blue briefcase. Blue case. Uh, check under that pillow. You can keep looking till the cows come home. All I'm gonna find is a pillow. Damn it! Isn't there anything else I can use? Uh, we're looking, man. Um, okay, I don't let's think you can look around. up there. Uh, ooh, well, let's look at that thing. What's this? What the hell is this? Okay, there's another room. Small red key, all right. Um, Small red key. Okay. Uh, can we go into that room? Can we go in there? Mirror. Probably hold on oh, it's a mirror. Room. I should probably hold on to this key. Yeah? Yes, uh. definitely. Oh. Oh, what's up with my face? I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and... And... Hmm. Flashback. <gasps> I like the character art, too. Mm -hmm. like the way it interacts with the space. I'm back! Not like anyone will respond. Uh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Yeah, breezes happen. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Mm, I see. Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh hi. Hi. Uh, hello. What? Uh, Who are... <laughs> Who are you? Uh, uh, hello? Yes? Uh, I... <laughs> I can't. Gotcha. That's yeah. Gas mask. Makes sense. Yep. Spooky too, but also really practical. Really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. <laughs> it is a game where you will put your life on the line. Has a very soft feel to it. Very yeah. much so. <laughs> That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me Y'all here. Been kidnapped. When I get my hands on him. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Fair enough. That's fair. All right. Yeah. Just who was that? They said you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Mm -hmm. Nonary game. Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! Don't break the, the Yeah, glass. don't do that yet. No. Uh, okay. But... All right, Good so we to got have some perspective. Got some information of what's going on here. Okay, that is true. All right, so we've been kidnapped. We're on a ship. Hey, there's a thing. <gasps> is this the other half of our that key? That is, in fact, the other there half of our key. There it is. Key. So okay. now we know that the actual number would be square. Well, actually, we can probably just nope. That's not what I meant. Nope. We can probably just do this. So it's um, oh, zero, zero. two, six. Three zero two six three uh, by combining blue. the yeah. blue one and two of yep, this zero. note with the blue three and four of this note. Yep, exactly right. So zero zero two zero two six, six three. Do you want me to three. write that down? Uh, yeah. Or will you remember it? Zero two six three. Zero two six three. Yeah. Zero two six three. Zero two six three. Zero two six three. Oh, I forgot it. No. Nope. Zero. <laughs> uh, yep, 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 yep. Let's give another try. Uh, <laughs> zero two one two six four. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> For real? Okay. Did it work? Okay. All right. Let's see if these numbers work. 
a turn of the key, and hey, looks like it's working. Yes. All right, let's open it up. Please be a key card. Out. Yes. It opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? All right. File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information uh, contained in them will be available in the file screen. Okay, cool. Press the right thing to open the file screen. All right. All right, let's see what's in this file. Hmm. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root when the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one uh, into one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. Gina, I didn't know we'd have to do math. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> you'll get you'll get really used to this. Trust me. For oh, instance, man. if you have a double digit number, add the numbers in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Okay. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digital root. Example: the digital root of 678 would be. Six plus seven plus eight equals 21, which translates to two plus one equals three. Okay, okay. Therefore, the digital root of 678 is three. Is that a real mathematical thing? Or is that what they're just calling it here? I don't actually know, yeah, okay. Uh, the digital root of 100, uh, 1,234 would be one plus two plus three plus four equals 10, uh, translated to one plus zero equals one. Okay. Therefore, the digital root of 1,234 is one. I'm glad that they explained it twice. Yep. So that's good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're like, no, for real, you need to know this. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I see. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. All right, we can do that. Oh, looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, and a calculator. <laughs> and a stack of key cards. Huh. All Stack right. Blue key cards. Blue key cards. All Excellent. Right. And I've got my calculator out too. <laughs> New material has been added to the file screen. Okay. Okay. Calculator. Press that direction for a calculator. A calculator can uh, calculate a digital root, which can be important to the progression of the story. Oh, so does it just do the digital root for you? Yeah, or but you, you need have to, to know do it to like do that. A, you have to have to. You have to do it like a calculator. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Okay. Second thing. All right, what else is going on no. here? Nothing? Go back. Can you close it? I don't know if I said anything briefcase. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what's next? Second thing. Remember from the bulletin board picture? Uh, key. Oh! Put that key in there? Hmm. No? I don't remember how to do this. Are you trying to get the key out? Well, no, we only used one key. We right. Used the, the, the blue key, not the red key. Oh, that's right. Yeah, where do we use the red key? Um, uh, go to that thing on the door? Probably nothing, nothing on the door. Um, you probably can't use the key there yet, because that looks like it takes a key card. Um, we do have some key cards, though. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. There's a sort of little slot on the side of this thing. Uh, looks like it's about the same width as those cards I found earlier. Maybe I can slide them through here? Uh, yeah, get the cards out and see what happens. These cards with numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. All right, let's slide these cards and see what if they work. And... Probably not. Er, er, er. Numbers? Give me numbers? Huh. It's not working. Why? Damn. So I need some other cards to get this to work? Should I need to find more cards now? Oh no, oh no no! Oh no! Oh no! I didn't mean to. <laughs> er, wrong. Damn! No matter how many times I try this, yes, I know. Yes. Yeah, game. I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> I need to find some different cards. Sorry, okay. game. Okay. That was my bad. Okay. Do we want to check under another pillow? Okay. Yes. I can I... see from down here is the underside of the top bunk. It's pretty high up there. Okay. I mean, I didn't know if there was anywhere to check underneath the bunk. So oh. we checked under a pillow already, which is where we found the um. The, uh, the one of the keys. Did you check we and we got something out. We got the other key out of the of the pot. The yeah. blue came out of the exactly. Pot. Okay. Um, you know, I don't know. Um, do we want to see if we can find stuff next time? Uh, sure, we can do that. I don't know. Like, I just, I, there's no way to get this key out. Ah. Like, because I want to see if we could. I guess you can't put the red key into that. 
Um, here we are at the middle of the bunk. There's nothing useful here. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, how about next time we look around and see if we can um, potentially find where to use the other key? Yes, yes. That's, I think, what is next in this puzzle. All right. I am extremely excited to be jumping into it this game. It just throws you right into it, too. It Holy does. Shit. It definitely does that. Yeah. No kidding. I can't tell if the water is going up in the room or not. Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, but there certainly is water coming in here. Okay. Next time, we'll figure out how to use this other key. Sounds good. See you, folks. Bye, guys.